has probably happened to a lot of us. You step off a plane at Reagan National, try to order an Uber or Lyft, and then watch as that price keeps surging higher and higher. Man, oh man, Seven on Your Side has learned why exactly this is happening. So Uber and Lyft drivers are manipulating the rideshare apps to create surge pricing, forcing passengers to pay a lot more money. Well, ABC7 transportation reporter Sam Sweeney is the first to uncover this story. He is live right now from Reagan National Airport with a story you'll see only on 7. Adriana, this is a wild story on both ends. Uber and Lyft drivers say their pay has been cut so much, it's hard to feed their families and make their car payments. Now they say they are forced to manipulate the Uber and Lyft apps into surge pricing. What they do each night, simultaneously, all of the drivers will turn off their apps, tricking the app into thinking there are no drivers in the nearby area. That makes a surge, which means passenger prices double, triple, even quadruple, and it all happens in less than two minutes. Every evening, this Uber and Lyft parking lot outside Rega National Airport fills. 120 to 150 drivers queue up, sometimes for hours, waiting for the busy evening rush. And nearly all of these drivers have one complaint. Uber, they don't pay us enough. What company is doing, they are actually defrauding all these people by taking 35 to 40 percent, and they're taking all this money because they have no system of accountability. Do you guys all agree with that? Yes, yes, yes definitely. Yes, yes. After two to three years of pay cuts, these drivers say they now have to fight back by artificially manipulating the Uber and Lyft apps into higher fares. All the riders we wait over here so we know the airplane when we can land it. We wait like five minutes before. We pump, we turn our, our app, apps off, all of us at the same time, all of us. We turn our app off, they go the search by $10, $12, you know, sometimes $19, and then we turn our app off, everyone will get the search. This driver explains how they organize it. Someone is uh, stand by this corner, I stand by this corner, and the other one is stand by this corner. And we just like, hey, turn the app off, and then go online. Now watch for yourself as our cameras roll for tonight's first planned surge. Wait, wait! You gotta wait, you gotta wait. Wait, 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 wait. This man runs the operation tonight. We've agreed to obscure his identity. He alerts drivers that the time to shut down is just around the corner. Using another app, he knows the precise moment to have everyone power down, ensuring the largest surge. Hey! Wait, you gotta wait. All right, go on, go, 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 go. Take 12, take, take. So the surge is currently at $12 and rising. He watches his phone closely, waiting for that exact moment when it's time to power up. It's still going up. Is it going up? It's still going up. It's 14. It's 13, it's still going up, it's still going up. It's gonna go up? It's 13. Yeah, it's up. Don't go on yet, you on? You on? Refresh it. And that quickly, it's over. Passengers will now pay an additional $13 on their fares. When we find now what's the highest search, that's when we say everybody on and everybody gets, gets paid what we think we should be getting paid. And does everybody oblige? Does everyone do it? Yes, 100%. Everyone do it because, because they know. They know it's not worth it. They know if they take a ride from here uh, without search or without, you know, the pump the search up, it's not worth it. In less than a minute, 50 drivers locked into the surge. It's like we work like a family, like a team. We do that every night. We do it again, yeah, we keep doing it. Like you drive off, we come back again. We do it, it's like a routine. We do it every till like 12 o'clock. Now these drivers tell me they do have a sense of guilt when doing this. They don't want to do it, but they say because Uber and Lyft keep reducing their pay, they have no choice. They can't afford to pick up people at Reagan National for three and four dollars in rush hour traffic. And we reached out to Lyft and Uber for statements. Lyft tells us they take these allegations of fraudulent behavior very seriously as it violates their community guidelines and can lead to deactivation from the Lyft platform. Uber echoes that message saying this behavior is neither widespread or permissible on the Uber platform and we have technical safeguards in place to help prevent it from happening. 
We've also reached out to Drive United. They are the organization informally representing these drivers. They say in part, for years, our wages have been declining, resulting in many drivers being unable to afford health insurance or to feed their families. It should surprise no one that drivers are finding ways to work together within Uber and Lyft's terms to make enough money to cover their basic needs. If you want to read those statements in full, they are available at WJLA.com. So, Sam, we hear these drivers saying that they're not making any money. How much money are they actually making, and is what they're doing here legal? Well, each driver makes a different percentage depending on how many rides they have, how long they've been with the platform. But some drivers, after expenses, are making around $5 an hour. The minimum trip fare from Reagan National into D.C. is $3.75. And some of these drivers wait one, two hours, even three hours to get one ride. And as far as legality, they are independent contractors, meaning they can work when they want. They can turn their apps on and turn them off as they please. But again, this coordinated effort is said to be against Uber and Lyft's guidelines. All right, Sam, thank you. Well, Uber told us that this price manipulation wasn't a widespread issue and that they had safeguards in place to prevent it from happening. Well, after our story aired, drivers from across the country reached out to us and posted videos on YouTube saying that, in fact, it is a widespread issue. It's happening at airports and major events across the country. And today, Uber is changing its tune. And we all know, rule number one, we don't talk about Surge Club. Surge Club, there's a name for this practice around the country. We first exposed it on ABC7. Come on now, if you're doing something you shouldn't be doing, you don't go tell the world about it. That's Dustin. He's a Tampa area rideshare driver. He posted this video to his YouTube channel with more than 20,000 followers after our story revealed how D.C. area rideshare drivers tricked the Uber and Lyft apps to create artificial surges. We turn our, our app, apps off, all of us, at the same time, all of us. We turn our app off, they got the surge by $10, $12, you know, sometimes $19, and then we turn our app off, everyone will get the surge. They give Uber a play-by-play -play of how we do this. This is stupid. Driver after driver from coast to coast confirming this artificial surge is happening all over, not just an isolated incident, as Uber originally told us. Yes, at LAX they do it as well. Yes, people have been doing this for a long, long time. We knew all along that um, this was happening at airports and events. This is the Surge Club operation outside Reagan Airport. It's still going up. Is it going up? It's still going up. I got Tulsi. It's 13, it's still going up, it's still going up. It's gonna go up? It's 13. Yeah, it's up. Don't go on yet, you on? Yeah. You on? I'm... Refresh it. The Uber drivers show us just how fast they can spike the fare by 10 or $20. Now other rideshare drivers nationwide do not like that their secret is getting out. And if you do break no rule number one and you deserve a smack of itch, you sure as hell don't tell the news about it. Why would you guys feel the need to openly discuss it, to talk to a news agency about it? That is stupid, like. In our last story, Uber told us this practice was not widespread, but now Uber is changing its tune. In a statement, the company saying in part, we have taken steps to address fraudulent behavior. Engaging in this behavior may result in removal. Uber also says because prices naturally spike with demand at airports, it can be difficult to determine if the observed price spikes are drivers manipulating the app or just normal supply and demand. Over the course of our investigation, we haven't found any evidence to suggest that this is happening at Dulles or BWI. There are no centralized lots at those airports where all the Uber and Lyft drivers wait, so it would be much more difficult to do it there. And we should also point out that the drivers that we featured in this piece there is no evidence to suggest that they are practicing this surge manipulation. Reporting at Reagan National Airport, I'm Sam Sweeney, ABC 7 News.